Welcome in to the Golden Boot Podcast. I'm your host, George Hancock, Vandy Chris, Cody Slavinsky. Um, I'm super excited. We're going to break down and give our opinions on the AP poll. Uh, that's right. The AP poll dropped. But before we do, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, as always, hit that notification bell. So that way you can see that we are live and we are going on. And by the way, Monday nights, 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern, we have our live show. That's right. You get to be a part of uh, the Golden Boot. So jump in. Tell us what kind of idiots we are. Tell us uh, how much you appreciate us. Tell us you know, how great we are at, at predicting football. Whatever you, you want to say, uh, tell me I'm wearing the wrong hat. I don't care. Uh, but we have our live show Monday nights. 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern. Uh, so we will see you then. With that being said, let's jump into this AP poll. Uh, and here we go. So uh, here is the preseason top 25 AP poll uh, for this coming year. Of course, Georgia starting out number one. Uh, then, of course, um, the voters are very high up on Ohio State. Uh, Oregon, Texas, Alabama, Ole Miss, Notre Dame, Penn State, Michigan, Florida State, Missouri, Utah, LSU, Clemson, Tennessee, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Kansas State, uh, Miami, Texas A&M, Arizona, Kansas, USC, NC State, and Iowa. That is your top 25 for the preseason. I am so glad I knew, remembered all of those logos. Um, <laughs> so right off the bat, gentlemen, what are your thoughts here? I mean, this the I mean the poll itself is not like re, like really that bad. Yeah. I mean, that being said, I feel like some teams got snubbed here. Mm. I feel like USC is only ranked because of them being a primetime game opening weekend. Yeah. Okay. I yep. don't think that they're a top 25 team. Um, You know, Kansas has a very favorable schedule this year for them. Mm -hmm. um, Arizona is another one I have a question mark about. I like Noah Fafita. I think he's a great quarterback. Um, mm -hmm. And, he, you know, he's got McMillan to throw to. I mean, that's a good combination. But mm -hmm. losing their coach, I just don't see – I don't, I don't see it for them this year. I, I, I just, yeah. just, just me personally, but right. I feel like there's some teams missing from this that you really need to like consider. Like where's Boise state, where's Memphis, mm -hmm. where's Texas state. I mean, heck, where's Liberty. I mean, there's, there are some really good teams out there that legitimately got snubbed here. I will, I will address that in detail good. Or in just uh, a few moments. Yeah. Good. I mean, when you look at this though, I mean, all right, so one fun matchup to open the season, A&M and Notre Dame. So seven versus 20. That's a, mm -hmm. that's fun. That'll dictate a lot. Personally, mm -hmm. I think A&M handles business in that game. Uh, Yeah. But I could also, obviously, I could be very wrong on that. But, I mean, all right, so like top five right there. I'm fine with it. I am. Um, This poll, sure. I, it was made before Texas announced their injury. But I don't think I would really change it based no. off of that. Um. I like, I'm okay with Alabama at five because there's there's question marks around it this year. We know the talent's there, but do we know that the schemes are going to work? Mm -hmm. um, Ole Miss is ready to jump into the top five. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Notre Dame, obviously, they win pretty much ten games every year, so they're always going to be consistently in that pack right there. Penn State, a lot of talent, cool. Michigan, again, defending national champions automatically puts you in you know ranked high, but they did lose some talent. Florida State mm -hmm. at 10, though, that one's where I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know about that. I mean, I respect Florida State. They've, uh, you know, they've handled business against LSU the last couple of years. So, I mean, like, yeah, but they lost a lot. They did. I mean, they brought some good guys in and they have a, a respectable team they're putting out there. But I don't, I just don't see them being that great. Missouri, the more I look at their schedule, the more I'm like, eh, I don't see it. Utah, Cam Rising's back. He's been in college for 152 years now, and we'll see what he can do coming back from a serious injury that he mm -hmm. suffered. 
I don't. I'm not saying anything on LSU because obviously I'm very biased there. Clemson is a team I believe in this year because they do have some good talent. They're very homegrown talent in terms of yeah. playing the transfer portal. It'll be cool to see what they can do this year because we know they have the talent to win some games. But this, sure. will be, I feel like this is the season that basically tells Dabo, "Hey, what you're doing is working," or "Bro, get with the program. It's time to." Right modify your ways Mm -hmm. but no i mean like everything top 15 cool whatever really top 20 i'm fine with that 21 through 25 i feel other teams should be there and i'd be okay with that Mm -hmm. chris go ahead and release the kraken (laughs) so on on the top 10 you you said it right notre dame penn state 10 and 2 every year they're going to be in that top 10 list whether you like that or not, sure. ten and two puts you there. Not sure. Simply said, sure. Um, Cupcake freaking schedule, but sure. Go ahead. I think it, my personal opinion. I think Alabama's high. Mm-hmm. Missouri's definitely high. I think Tennessee mm-hmm. is low, but I get it. Yeah, Nico sure. has to. Nico has to prove him. The defense has to prove mm-hmm. that they're taking that step forward. I mm-hmm. get it. I expect Tennessee to be in, in that top 10 range by the end mm. of the year. Um, Clemson, I'm not buying it. I don't need, I don't even think they're top two in the ACC. Mm. I think your top two teams in the ACC are going to be Virginia Tech and North mm-hmm. Carolina State. Mm-hmm. Why is Miami ranked? They've done nothing for years. Well, get them, yeah, out, hold get on them out of there. They don't hold belong on. there. They don't I mean, belong there. They, they just went. Se- they went seven and six, and Mario Cristobal is still their head coach. What has sure. he ever done to deserve a top twenty ranking? He brought in Cam Ward and uh, Damian Martinez. Oh That's yay! Huge. That's to huge. a seven to a seven and six ball club. I don't know. I'm I'm higher on Miami than you are for sure. Uh, yeah, well, Utah Utah is going to be there. Um, the problem with Utah is. Cam Rising can't stay healthy. Correct. He's coming off a, a year filled with injuries. And they've already lost their backup quarterback, Nate Johnson, who transferred out. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they're going to be there. Their defense is always stacked. They'll be there. Why is Kansas State on here? What You lose your starting quarterback. Yeah. Now, show me something. Uh, USC, you know. Why are they ranked? Why aren't teams like Virginia Tech in here that mm. returned 21 starters? Mm-hmm. That's very fair. Um, Texas State, Memphis, Boise State, you know, all these teams. Now, here's my rant. College football is going to do what college football does. They're going to – they are – this graphic right here tells you that the fix is in play, that only one G5 team will ever get in these playoffs. And this graphic tells you all you need to know. Not a Mm. single G5 team is ranked. Mm. Why? You going to tell me Texas State can't beat some of these teams on here? Get out of here. Mm -hmm. So one thing I will say to you, though, about Kansas State is I'm okay with that ranking for them because they do have DJ Giddens at running back. And then you have Avery Johnson at quarterback who, honestly, in the Pop-Tart Bowl, just dominated NC State. I mean, he went in there and threw for 479 yards and five touchdowns. Hmm. The future could be bright for Kansas State. But anyway, continue. It, it could be. But, again, again, you've lost your starting quarterback on a mid-team. Yeah. Missouri, yeah. I'll address that. I think they're very high. Yeah, They're going to miss – Cody Schrader more than anybody can anticipate. And mm-hmm. what Cody Schrader did for that team to to take the focus off of the wide receivers, Theo Weiss and Luther Burden, they're going to miss that. Yeah. I expect them to take a step backwards. Ohio State, I get it. You got you bring in Quinchon Judkins, you bring in Will Howard, mm-hmm. but hear me out. What's Will Howard done to make him 
the heir apparent to be one of the greatest college quarterbacks at Ohio State this year. He's been a mid quarterback at a mid school his entire career. So why should I expect him to lead this Ohio State team to that level? I, mm-hmm. I can't expect that. So That's yeah. Fair. I agree with you. I agree with Arizona. I think Miss yeah. Jed Fish is going to be widely missed. Kansas, they're going to be good as long as Jalen Daniels can stay healthy. Sure. Yeah. But go ahead. Yeah. I, well, I was just going to say. I mean, I, I, I'm going to I'm going to say this. Um, George is going to roll. Um, but I'm going to tell you the team that I think is probably going to be right up with them um i think oregon's going to take over that number two spot uh oregon plays ohio state Mm -hmm. dan lanning is building a powerhouse the only question mark i have and this is the only question mark i have is dylan gabriel going to be able to be that guy right i mean he he that that is the only thing, right? You go from Bo Nix to Dylan Gabriel with almost the exact same team that you had last year. Uh he they lost the a little bit style. of he fits that he style does. very well. So I'll give him that. He does. He does. Um he does. So and his I, reasoning I mean, for transferring, I also respect that as well. Yeah. I'm 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 playing devil's advocate here. So um I mean if we'll just say if Dylan Gabriel struggles, Oregon, you know, falls to the wayside. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think Ohio State is going to stay in the top ten, uh, in my opinion. I, I I know they have talent, but here here's Whoa. the thing. I, I'm just I'm just gonna say I know they have talent, but uh, Ryan. Um, I, I don't I don't trust him. I don't trust the guy. I don't trust how he builds a team. Um I know they have a cupcake schedule, but I, I feel like something's gonna happen to the wayside. Um just my opinion. They may they may stay right up there all the way through and go undefeated. I don't know. Um You're but, gonna get cooked in the comments for this. I don't okay. care. <laughs> so, um and here here's here's one here's one gripe I do have. All right. Alabama has a bunch of question marks. Um, that's fine. Um, I, I kind of feel like Ole Miss should have just got the nod and been in the top five sure. and put Alabama at six. You can pretty much flip flop them. I'm going to say it. I know you said it earlier. If you, if you go 10 and two, you deserve to be there. Stop putting Notre Dame in the top 10. Um, I, I mean, the, <laughs> That they're they're not going to be good this year. They're not. They may have a they may have a decent record, but they're not going to have a top ten team. They're just not. Um, and I know this is preseason. I know this is because based off of what they're doing. Uh, just book it. Notre Dame is not going to do uh, live up to expectations. Um, Florida State. All right, in in the top ten, I'm good with that. But also, I, I've got some some question marks. Um, just how do they how do they bounce back? You know, I mean, uh, is is the injury going to be a problem? Right? I mean that that's that's the that's the thing that that leaves in my mind. Um, is the injury going to come back to be an issue? Right? And everybody knows what issue what what injury I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, because who does Florida State have besides, uh, <laughs> besides you know Mister Injury? Um, I mean, I, do do they have a good backup? I don't even know. Um, I mean, what 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 do you guys think? Do you think that's that would that could be a potential problem? I mean, you got sure. DJ. You got yeah. DJ right. Mm-hmm. Um, so he 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 is the replacement for Travis. Obviously, yes. yes. <sighs> I think but, I think he'll be fine in that so, system, though. I think he I think he can thrive actually. Yeah. So let me pose this question. Sure. 
six out of the last seven years. Mm -hmm. At least one team ranked in the top 10 preseason mm -hmm. has finished the year unranked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who in the top 10 this year is that team? Florida State. Really? I yes. think there's two I think there's two candidates there. I'm glad you I'm I'm really glad you said Florida State because that's who I was gonna say. Yeah, that's generally how we do it. <laughs> I, I don't I don't I don't believe in DJU. I, I just don't. Um I mean he hasn't I, really I given see, you reasons to believe in him. No. See, I, I believe there's two candidates here. Okay, hit me. Michigan and Florida State. I well think yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Um, and Chris, I, I'm with you. Why is Miami here? Why? Why? I, I get that you bring in two studs, but is their schedule really that much of a cupcake schedule to put them in the top 20? No. After a seven no. and six season? I mean, two guys is not going to fix your entire program. And it's definitely not going to fix a head coach that can't figure out when, what to do at the end of a football game. Um, so I, I don't know that one, uh, Arizona, Noah Fafita. Um, and, and, but like you said earlier, why is USC here? I, I don't understand that at all. I mean, until, until a brand spanking new quarterback proves otherwise, USC should not be on this list. So, um, that's my gripe. I know I'm going to get land basin and I don't care. It's, uh, it's my opinion, not yours. So there you have it. So, so of the G five teams. Yeah. Of which there are none ranked. And I think it's a crap that they're, that they're not. They're because, not going to rank a G five team. They never, they, they hardly ever do. And, and, and that, that was the point I was making earlier. Mm -hmm. The playoff ain't changing nothing. No, the G G five is going to have to go undefeated to get ranked. But we also know that by the playoff requirements, mm. the best G five team has to be in. Okay, who is it? Texas State. Texas State. I think Texas State's going undefeated. I, I think they get in. I do too. Yep. I. I, I I really do. And people who are going, why are you picking Texas State? What? Blah, 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 blah. Look at their schedule. Look at their talent. Look at their roster. Um, look at their running back. And tell me Texas State don't at least go 10 and 2, 11 and 1. Um, mm -hmm. they, will be, they will be the best G5 team, bar none. Um, and, mm -hmm. and unless, barring injury, unless, you know, Whatever, I mean that they, they will be the best G five team. Hundred percent. So um I think this might get the worst. We we might absolutely just get the worst uh just hammered over this one. Well, that's the but, beautiful thing about this though. It yeah. is. It so I mean, at the end of the day, every football fan sees football differently. Yeah. No matter what. Mm -hmm. But we're all fans at the end of the day. Yeah. Us at the Golden Boot, we essentially come from a smack talking universe. Correct. College baseball smack is where we started. We embrace yep. the smack talk. That's yep. what we want. We want to mm -hmm. hear your thoughts. We want you to tell us where you think we're wrong, where we're right, mm -hmm. whatever. Like, we're all for it. Bring it on. Yep. We like that. It, it's, I think it grows the sport. Yeah. No matter mm -hmm. what, it does. Even, yep. even if it's just a, a, a podcast like us and it's, Two people talking. That's growing the sport. Right. So, I'm, if, I'm, I'm waiting on two. Go ahead, Chris. I'm waiting on somebody in the comments to say, you're a Vanderbilt fan. You don't know nothing about football. Uh, Guess what? Yeah. I'm naming team. I'm naming players off mm -hmm. of your team. So sit down, mm -hmm. boy. There you go. Sit down, boy. Uh, just so I was not clear enough uh, at the beginning, Florida State may be ranked number 10. But I do not believe that DJU – is the replacement for Travis Hunter. Simple as that. I don't. Um, I just, I don't believe it. So. <laughs> you mean Jordan Travis? Jordan, Jordan Travis. <laughs> oh, Y'all have to understand, it is 1130 um, on a Friday. 
and uh, I'm tired. So yeah. names can flip flop. I meant. I mean, yes. this is like what our fifth episode of the night, sixth Something episode. Like that, yeah. So yes. I mean, yeah. we we're recording like crazy tonight. I get a pass. You brought up you brought up a great name though, Travis Hunter. Yeah. yeah. Can, is Colorado going to sneak in here and join the top twenty five? No. <laughs> I don't Negative. see Colorado having a good season this year. Negative. Negative. They get, Will they Coach get Prime really be fired? Will Coach Prime be fired? No. 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 No, never. No. no. Colorado gets a rude awakening in week two against Nebraska. Yeah. Book it, baby. Mm-hmm. Here's another one go. in the book. Whoever is the worst team in the NFL this year is going to hire Coach Prime, and he's going to draft his son. Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. So, which I mean, hey, don't get me wrong. Shadur Sanders, is, he's a good quarterback. I'm not hating on the kid. I, I he's not an NFL quarterback. Sorry. Stop sure it. he is. Sure he is. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, if you love this, if you just want to jump in on the action, make sure you tune in Monday night, 8 30 Central, 9 30 Eastern, uh, to our live show. Tell us how much of an idiot you think we are. We'll, we'll, we'll be glad to debate with you. I don't care. Um, and if you want to call me out for saying the wrong name, by all means do it. I don't care. Uh, my excuse is I have three kids. It is 1130 and I worked all day. So, um, if Joe Biden can gaff, so can I. So, uh, (laughs) (laughs) that being said, appreciate you guys joining. If you haven't already hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you guys stay golden. We will see you next time.